welcome to another stream. How are we all doing today? I forgot to click start record so YouTube doesn't get the little high chat. They just get the nonsense after that. Anyway, how's, how's it going? It is Saturday, January 13th of 2024. We are back for yet another stream. Um, didn't stream on Monday because I was watching the college football national championship yeah 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 I have to, and, and it doesn't have buttons important <laughs> um, let me say hi to everyone who's here Marsha was here first before the stream started wait 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 JJMC was first I have it wrong my bad uh, Belnathus is also here hello hello uh lv welcome to the stream hello hello walker codes good to see you again clement welcome back grandpa's ipad says my new year's resolution is to thonk more and bonk less hmm hmm walker code says i know there's probably a correlation between me making hash browns on saturdays and anthony streaming on saturdays but i like to think it's a causal relationship uh it could just be that you make hash browns every saturday and i stream every Saturday. Yeah. Shmuel, hello. Rafe Within, hello, hello. How you doing? Akaterasu. Welcome to the stream. Tiny Small 69, hello, hello. How you doing with your little watch streak? Pandoxer says, today I deleted 600 lines of code from my dot files. Down to 2,000 lines, which is still 2,000 too much. Yeah, that's a lot. That is quite a few. Ramble, hello, hello. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Norpi says, what do you think about Pi Pika? I have literally no thoughts because I have no fucking idea what it is. Zero thoughts. Brain empty. Nothing. Uh, so the plan for today's stream is to fix dead snakes again, as usual. It seems like every fucking stream we do this. That's what happens during the alpha period, which is about half the year, and then it gets to beta, and then I don't have to fix it very much anymore, and then we repeat it all over again. Um, Metal Storm. Hello, hello. How you doing? But two bits are broken, it looks like. Oddly, it's 311 and 313. Uh, and only Jammy? This makes me think GitHub Actions derped. And this is not actually a problem. Broken pipe error. Should exit silently now, but we'll throw exception for debug. Okay. Okay, yeah, so this actually isn't broken. This is just... This is just Launchpad being Launchpad. So I think if I... Rebuild, maybe just rebuild this one, it should work. Yeah. Did get you right, Python? Hmm. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Ramble says, any thoughts on software engineering jobs in 2024 for mid level? I no idea. I don't, I haven't looked at the job market. The Tanja says, did you know that pipfreeze-r requirements.txt? Is that a thing? Does this mean we really don't need pip tools at all anymore? I don't, I don't, oh. Use the order in the given requirements file and its comments when generating output. This output can be used multiple times. How does it work though? I am unfamiliar with this option. So if I do pip install and pre-commit, for instance, uh, and then I just put pyml in here, and then I do pip freeze this, does it include everything? Yeah, it includes everything. The following requirements were added by pip freeze. Very strange. Original and transfer separated by comment. If you write to the same file, they will not be separated by a comment. Uh, that is probably because uh, what what this does, what this command does here. This is this is a problem I see a lot uh, in in people writing shell scripts as well. The problem with this command is this is kind of two steps. Uh, step one is uh open rec.txt for writing. Uh, this makes the file empty. 
Uh, and then two pip freeze will read rec.txt empty. Uh, and then three pip freeze will output uh, since rec.txt was empty, no comment. Um, yeah. That's, that's what's happening there. Um, it's not actually pip freeze having weird behavior, it's that you're, you've clobbered the file that you're reading from in the same command. Uh, there is a trick to doing this, which is to uh, either buffer this in a um, in a shell, um, which I think that'll work. We have this, and we do pip freeze dash r rex dot txt out to rex dot txt. I think this will do the right thing. Oh shit, I needed a cat. Uh... There's a way to do that without cat, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, that's not early enough. We probably need to do... You probably need a whole separate pipeline part. So you probably need cat rex dot txt uh, pit freeze standard in rex dot txt. Even that's not soon enough. Hmm. Uh, but anyway, you need some way to buffer it. You can probably use tack or something else, but. That's that's the problem. That's what's happening there. More util sponge. Yeah, sponge will do that. Generally avoid piping to the file you're reading. Yep, 100%. Uh, the query builder. Oh. 2404 is called noble numbat. Yes, indeed it is. We're being, we've, we've left jammy realm and we're going to be a num noble. Noble soon. This is a silly name. Uh, okay, so we don't have to fix 3.11. That is promising. 3.13 is, is broken. Or at least I don't think we have to fix 3.11. We'll see what happens with this build here. Ah, uh, but 3.13, the alpha. Everything always breaks in alpha. What broke today? Blah, 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 blah. It's not a merge conflict, so it's probably minimal. Underscore suggestions. That's a new module. Is imported by traceback. Well, that's an interesting one. We're gonna learn about a new module today. I mean, it's an underscored model, so that's probably not a very interesting one. Or at least not a user accessible interesting one. Uh, Agimura, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess as they exposed the APIs for the, like, did you mean stuff, and now it's accessible in the traceback module. But let's find out. Traceback. Sug, sug. Where's the, where's the import? Oh, there it is. Import suggestions, accept import error, return suggestions that generate suggestions. Okay, so it is a guarded import, so it doesn't necessarily need to exist. Rimble says, does anyone know if I'm only using one or two methods from a library, but when I bundles it, my project includes all the dependencies from that library. Is there any way I can only include the dependency that's being used? Uh, in Python, there are not any good tree shakers that I know of because of how dynamic Python is. Uh, if you're in JavaScript land, there are many tree shakers of varying quality. Um, but yeah, generally not. But if you just vendor the bits that you need, then you don't need a dependency. But yeah, there is no way around that thing. Uh, if you're pulling in a library for a tiny bit of it and it pulls in a bunch of other junk you don't need, you're it's probably a good suggestion that you don't need that library and you should find an alternative. Um, like if you're pulling in NumPy for two fucking functions, you probably don't need NumPy. You don't need to add 40 megabytes plus to your build. Okay, anyway. 
It looks like this model is guarded, so we can probably ignore it. Uh, but I'm curious if it ends up being a built-in module. Configure. <laughs> With prefix, make J5 install. I'm gonna let that build. Um, but my guess is we can just make mark this as guarded and not actually need it in minimal. Mm. And the keyboard sounds are not necessarily me. Tina has in her loud keyboard. What? Somebody, somebody asked? With my feet. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what's happening. Heard, heard, heard it here first, chat. I'm a feet typist. A... Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you can go to com slash Anthony feet cam. Don't go there. It's not actually... Um, Tina using a French keyboard? Hell no. Uh... Yeah, I um, I helped someone buy a laptop once, and it was extremely discounted and well specced. And shipping from Canada, and it ended up being a French keyboard. <laughs> yeah, that did not did not turn out well. All right. Elster says, type question, if you do result equals sub float, integer divide some value, why do type checkers still think the result is float? If you do type result, it is clearly an int. Uh, is that the case? Nope, it is still a float. The type checker is correct. Ugh. Unless this changed in like three twelve or something, did I? I don't. I think it's always been this way. Yeah. Even in Python two. <clears throat> Def can't game say sorry about that. Sent you a keyboard from the great white fucking north and it had the French keys on it. Is every keyboard too spooky because the numbers punctuation are different? Yeah. It's true. Uh Oh, not that many. Oh, suggestions is a built-in module. Look at that. So why would it never be available? Why would it be unavailable? It's an interesting question. Um, I guess in that case, we don't have to add it to the guarded imports because it is a built-in module. Bam Middlestorm, I'm curious what, what actual, what, how, how you got to a bit being an int. Unless it's some like fucking weird numpy float. But I also don't know. Okay, so, how is that configured in Dead Snakes? Where does this come from? Um, oh, I should finish this. 
Blah, 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 blah. Yep, this looks good. Wait, why do I feel like these are out of order? Did I put them in the playlist in the wrong order? Or, um... No. Uh, these are just in the wrong order. Uh, S in Montana? Ace Montana, that makes way more sense. Thank you for the follow, welcome to the stream. Holy shit. Max, slow down. You've t you're, you've got too much in the chat. <laughs> Lample, hello, hello, welcome back. How you doing? Oh boy, I got a lot to read here. Hey guys, I've been coding for a while now and I haven't built anything. Oh, that's your first problem. Build stuff, don't just, don't just code to code, build things. I should going through courses on and off. Yeah, that's, um, you're never gonna learn that way. Way better than I was when I started, but now I finished learning RTK query. I don't know what that is. I'm finally at the stage where I'm ready to build things. No, you should have started building things first. Don't worry about knowing what you need to know. Just do it. Yeah, that's the whole problem is you, you spend a whole bunch of time trying to learn a bunch of stuff when you should just just start building things. Um, yeah. Anyway. Oh, no, the word? Which word? I don't... Hello? Okay, I don't remember how these get populated, but I think um, it's some part of the build configuration. <laughs> Got the old thing here. What? Why did that not work? Oh, because uh, it's not ETF 8. No, 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 there are three kinds of modules. Yeah, that's true. Programming is not a spectator sport, indeed. Branch? Oh, you said the band word? Wait, I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere. Where is the... the... Fr oh, Franch. Oh. I don't see it. I don't see it at all. I don't, unless it got deleted. I don't see it here or here. No, nowhere. Nowhere in there, Beldathis. Oh no, YouTube is doing the thing where I have to manually press play on the playlist again. Oh. Um, okay, anyway, I think I can just mark this module as, uh, as guarded. And that should be fine. Mm -hmm. Libyan, oh. Bunch of champ Debian Fever Minimal dot Reamd mm -mm -mm. and then somewhere down here ST Suggestions. We can do a little gamble. <clears throat> do, do, do. Google stopped charging for data egress. I did not know about that. Will the build succeed? You got one minute to get your gamble on. Did I push Jammy? I did. Good. And I will rerun the build. Run everything. 
<laughs> Bonnell says, I trust you, Anthonk, and then votes no. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's deserved. That's like a risky move. Lots of companies with trap data can now change up services. I mean, egress was never that expensive in the first place. I feel like companies weren't stuck. Uh, whatever, whatever. Okay, does anyone have the link to the typing challenge thing? <laughs> I misplaced it. I was trying to find it on the Discord. I'm not very good at finding it. Uh, oh, I found it. Never mind. Do, 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 what do you mean, gross? YT Displant says, salute, what are you working on? <laughs> what? What? How am I supposed to say it? <laughs> salute. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> Dan Robot, hello, hello. Good to see you again. Mini Jake, it's good to see you as well. Uh... I think something like 25 petabytes? Oh. I guess that's a lot. The T is silent. Suited there. <laughs> Lilith says hello, hello. Hello, everyone. I'm curious about the design choices in Linux distributions, particularly Ubuntu. Does anyone know the reason behind choosing purple as a default color? I think they just picked a color and went with it. Oh boy, there are quite a lot of them here. Um, I guess we'll just start basic and make our way up. Hooray! Complete code following the instructions of the lions, followed by expect type error if any fail, while others can pass. Uh, Hooray! Fuck you, I didn't use any! <laughs> Get wrecked, nerds! On to the next one! How do I do next one? What is the solution? Does the solution say to use any? Ah, uh, get fucked! We don't need any- we don't need any here! Get wrecked, typing challenge! Alright, next one. Um. <clears throat> Should accept the dict. Both keys and values are string. Dict, stir, stir. Hooray! Okay, these are pretty easy. Make sure it cannot be reassigned to. Uh, yeah, we actually don't need to say what type it is, but that's fine. Oh, we need to import from typing import. <laughs> We're getting it lazy. <laughs> Hooray! Who takes keyword arguments of type integer or string? Do 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 do. Hooray! A list argument whose elements are string. Okay, these are all very easy so far. I expect the next one, the next section to be a little bit easier. Uh, an integer argument, none or no argument at all. Uh. Ints or none. Yeah. Hooray! Who should accept any an integer argument? This one's easier than the last one. I guess they're alphabetized, not difficult -tized. Return! Ah, we get into return types. Okay. Uh, they run in 312 just in case. Oh, I can use the cheaty type parameter garbage too. 
A tuple argument first is a string, second is an integer. Tuple start and type alias. Create a new type called vector, which is a list of float. Vector. Oh, we can do list float. Da -na 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 -na. Cheaty. Either a string or an integer. I feel like we already did this. Uh, a should be an integer. Ta-da! Okay, we passed basic. We're now around to intermediate, and we're going to start off with something that I never work with, which is <laughs> awaitables. Uh, takes an awaitable integer. I think this is it, but I also never deal with awaitables. Hooray! Find a callable type that accepts a string argument and returns none. Do 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 I forgot to import. They should just add this at the top for me. Uh... Oh, this is a, sorry. Oops. It's supposed to be a type alias. Do, 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 hooray. Uh, there's a class variable called var, which is an integer. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's class var. Var, class var, int. I am going to try and reopen YouTube and see if that makes it not fucking suck. It's gonna be really loud, so I apologize. But we'll get sound back. Oh no, I'm ruining my speed run. And then it won't be. Maybe YouTube's just shitting out for me today. It is very laggy for some reason. Hooray, we have sound again. Start from the drop song? Ah, oh, shit. Shit it on that. Is there a common way to create a method that does the same as another one? Uh, I mean, methods are just objects. You can just reassign them. Uh, to find a decorator that wraps a function and returns a function with the same signature. Oh, they give us the, the hints. Uh, da, 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 oh, we can actually. Oh, we can use the new garbage syntax. T callable. Dot dot dot. Uh, object. Yeah. Generic, write a function and it accepts two arguments or returns value. They all have the same type. Yeah. The uh the new syntax definitely makes speedrunning these a little bit easier. And it accepts two arguments or returns a value, they all have the same type. The type can only be a stir or int. Uh is that how this works? I think so. This is the bound syntax. Can the new syntax be backboarded in theory, but I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. Uh... Yeah, it's a lot of work to try and backport the syntax like that, but instance variable bar, which is an integer. I wish these were sorted by difficulty, because these ones seem a lot easier. Who can only accept the order left and right? Do, 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 do. These are kind of fun so far. They're a little bit easy, though. Left and right. Do, 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 do. 
Literal string, huh? Spoilers, I wonder what this one's supposed to be. You're running one back and annotate a function execute query which runs SQL. Uh, da, 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 da. There's a new thing called literal string. Oh, is this not how you, can you not do comma star? Or is it literal stir? No, it, I just don't, I don't know how to star imports because I literally never use them. <laughs> Turn self should return an instance of the same type. Uh, why do they do import typing? Well, this is going to be easier than uh, trying to figure that out up there. Hooray! Type dicts! Uh, mm -hmm. Student type dicts. Namester age in school. Why did the auto indent fuck me there? Why is this weirding? Hello? Why is it red? Oh, because I forgot a call in here. Hooray! Somehow I feel like I'm gonna need this for the next one, so we're gonna copy paste it. <laughs> okay. School can be optional. Not required is how you spell that. Okay, we're going to copy paste this for the next one. Ever since a dictionary, uh, person type dict, I have each key must be specified of a specified type. Name, stir, age, int, gender, stir. Address stir, email stir, only name is required. Okay, so there's two ways to do this. Uh, I could just slap not required on all these, but I'm gonna do it a different way. Because, uh, I guess we're just not getting YouTube today, no sounds. Um, Cause this is going to be faster to type. Um, but this is another way to do not required. Not required is newer than this, though. Uh, I forgot a colon somewhere. Oh. I did control X. Person. Not required. Ta-da! Unpack! Ooh! Who expects two keyword arguments? Name of type stir and age of type int. Oh, they just fucking give it to you. I would have expected us to have to write all of this. Bummer. There's also required, that's true. I could have done it that way. I don't know how that would work though. Damn, fucking. I wonder if I change my autoplay settings, if that'll work, because sometimes that's why it's fucked up. Let's see. Autoplay is on. Let's turn it off and see what happens. See if that lets it play through. Also, also Pythonic Pi. Hello, hello. How you doing? Nor Pi, can, can the new syntax be reverted for the next versions because OMG, it's annoying? Yeah, you can just not use it. I'm not sure whether I like the new syntax or not either. Okay, on to advanced. Buffer, annotate the function read buffer, which accepts anything that is a buffer. Uh, there is a protocol for this. Um, but I don't remember what it is. It's also new. I want to just say it's called buffer, but I don't think that's correct. Uh, I also, I also seem to remember I used to be able to do this, but not anymore. Um, ugh. We can also just do with the protocol. I think. Uh, 
Lights foo. Um, hmm. I forget what this one is called, so we're gonna look it up, buffer. Collections ABC buffer. Oh, it's not in typing. Hooray! <coughs> it's not really advanced, it's just stupid trivia. Uh, there's a buffer-like type. Uh, byte string is the older sort of like one, but... Um, yeah, not, not quite what we need in there. Also, 311 passed, but that wasn't the one we're gambling on. All right, callable protocol. Uh... Kisia says, bless you. Thank you, thank you. Found a callable type that accepts a string named, called name and turns none. We will make a protocol. Do, 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 do. Hooray. Decorator time. To find a decorator wraps a function and returns a function with the same signature. The decorator takes an argument message of type string. Oh, and you don't even have to implement the whole thing. You can just cheese. Actually, parameter type or dot dot dot. Uh oh. We got my squackets there. Hooray! The devil kid. Hello, hello. How you doing? Uh, Neskano Om. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you're doing well. Descriptors. Oh boy. Create a descriptor and annotate the get method. Yeah, these are always annoying. But I've done these a billion times. Dev get self instance none owner type object to uh self uh What is it supposed to return? Um, string value descriptor self. It's supposed to return a stir, but they never tell you that. I don't remember whether I have to actually type these, but. That's enough to cheese it. Line 13, expecting that overload implementation is not consistent with the signature of overload one none type object to self oh this should be self stir ray scripters uh 
Fix the type ins of copy to make it type check. Uh, 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 um. I don't know what is particularly wrong here. Um, what was wrong before? What was the actual error before I fixed it? My class is not defined. Wait, are you fucking kidding me? That's all it wanted to fix? What? Is this one not running in 3... Oh, it is running 3.12. We could have also done this. <laughs> I just assumed they all had that to to begin with but changing it to self also works <laughs> that's so stupid uh silly laird hello hello how you doing and jacob says have you ever considered doing a pilot course i've thought about it but it's so much fucking work so i have not done it and instead i've made 500 youtube videos instead spyro hello hello how you doing bored blue fox thank you for the follow welcome to the stream got postponed after the pedantic drama yeah and it will never land because of the pydantic crybabies. Alright. Gen is a generator that yields an integer. It can accept a string. It does not return anything. Uh, generator ends none none. Uh, argument missing for parameter... Oh, it can it has a send type of uh for... right. Not that the function takes an integer; it's that it's it receives a sendable. Find a generic class that represents a stack. T. T. We might need to annotate this. Unclear. Nope. We'll need to annotate that. Everyone knows what's up. What's the Pydantic drama? Oh. Uh, there was a Python release where future annotations was going to become the default. And then, right at the last minute, um, the author of Pydantic raised a huge, a huge stink in the python issue tracker and basically like brigaded reddit and twitter to like spam this issue with people being like mm, my coach gonna break and then they reverted it so it says i'm doing level design for a friend's mmo he's making and just drumming what, what does that mean never okay i oh that was weird uh, make sure never call me is never called. Easy. Oh, playing drum rhythm games to get the frustration out? Nice. Uh, implement this function to make it type check. Is not implemented anymore. Hooray! Process function takes one argument response. When response is bytes, returns a string. When response is an integer, yeah. No, 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 bytes, stir. 
Uh, int tuple int stir. Overload hell. Foo is a function that returns an integer when called with foo int. Returns a string when it's called with foo stir, otherwise returns a foo t. Um, inter integer. <laughs> Uh, otherwise it turns the foo t. I think I can just do foo t to t. Uh, except I need to actually say... Can it access member A for type list unknown? Oh, it returns a foo t. Oh, I gotta do overloads. Can I just leave this civilization blank and and then overload is not defined. Overload implementation is not consistent. Fuck. Is it going to know what to do with that? It is, actually, surprisingly. Who is function returns the integer? Returns an integer when the second argument is 1, returns a string when the second argument is 2, and returns a list when the second argument is 3. Otherwise, it returns inputs self. The fuck does this mean? Maybe it means returns the input itself? Maybe they don't speak English as their primary language. This has to be literal one, literal two. DJ Broke says, thank you for all the content stuff you do. Help me a lot. I'm glad you appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Uh, oh, you you predicted yes. Okay, you're a believer as well. <laughs> I also forgot to say hi to Cloud Meeples. Hello, hello. How you doing? Uh, Devil Kid says, any idea how you improve dev experience in a company uh, going from start to scale up? Uh, find the things that are most painful <laughs> and fix them. Um, I don't know. Run surveys. Um, have an actual team structured around developer experience. Um, yeah, basically that. Uh, Bundle says there a case for having never as an argument type annotation makes sense. I only see uses as a return type for always raise while true type codes. I actually have one example of that at work. Uh, let's see the other way around. Um, and this is the only time I have ever used this. What was that? Oh, that was me. Yeah. Uh, utils. Cursed module. Uh, Jason. Uh. Oh, except I didn't spell it as never here. It's no return, but no return is an alias for never. Um, basically, I noticed that we had these dump dumps, etc. functions that all took star star quarks, but we're never using them. And so I was like, well, if I remove this, 
And there's some mysterious fuck off GitHub. Stupid ass thing. Um, if I remove the star star quarks and there's some caller that I can't find from static analysis because we don't have full MyPy coverage on both of our code bases yet. If I can't find all the MyPy coverage, uh, then I'll break something. Um, and so what I did instead is I annotated the quarks as no return, which means in typed code, it'll say you're passing some argument you're not supposed to. Um, but in untyped code, it'll just succeed and it'll succeed at runtime. So this was a, a, a way to nudge people in the right direction without breaking compatibility. Um, and this is the only case that I have needed for using never on a keyword argument. No return is an alias for another never, uh, just spelled, spelled differently. Um, okay, anyway, back to this. Two returns list. Of, of something, it doesn't say what it is. Uh, and when the second argument is three, it returns the input itself. Um, yeah. Do 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 do. Okay, so I think we're gonna say object. Int to int list or I think I can actually just say object here. <laughs> I think I can cheat. <laughs> Damn, T is not defined. Where did I use T here? No, 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 no. Cannot access member upper for type list unknown. Uh, turns a string when it's two. Oh, in integer. <laughs> oh, I have more. I have more overloads that I am missing. Uh, three is supposed to be list. Um, soil researcher, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you're doing well. No overloads for foo match provided arguments on line five. Why is it this string for? Uh, okay, so it's just the object. St stupid garbage ass code. No, I don't ever write this. <laughs> the other server, hello, hello. Oof, JSON encoders. I had a huge fight using or JSON and Flask since they use cursed object hooks. Oh, yeah, I mean. Our JSON at Sentry is, is spooky garbage that I don't, I, I should unravel someday, but mm, man. Do I want to? No. <laughs> Cyber Benny, hello, hello, how you doing? Alien says that's possible to use never as an argument type annotation Python. It's just not a common practice. Yeah, almost never. Almost never should use never as an argument type. Um, return values all the time. So a researcher says, what are you doing on this channel? Aha, the bot, the bot gotcha. Uh, what's a Python typing challenge? There's the, the, yeah, I should have put the link. I should have put the link in the message, but I didn't know what it was. Uh, doing the Python typing challenge. Ta -da. Also, Unodos3, hello, hello, how you doing? All right, pram spec. Add type in the class wraps so that it can be called with the same arguments as the function it wraps. Okay, so we have to do star star p. Uh, this is callable pr, so we need r also. Yeah, peasant! Thank you for the resub at 32 months. It's good to see you again. I hope that you are doing well, and I appreciate your continued support. Uh, we've also got Mark Zara. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, p dot args and p dot quarks and it returns r. Yeah, the new syntax makes this a little bit easier. Callable is not fine, motherfucker. They should have just added from typing import star at the top of this. That would have made these a lot less tedious. 
Or JSON is so simple and dumb, it forces you to write better code in the first place so you don't do object mangling while encoding. Yeah, because object mangling, mangling while you're encoding makes things kind of slow. Quack! <laughs> Quack! Oh, I forgot protocol. Hey, it's a quackable. Recursive. Find a tree type. The tree is the dictionary whose keys are strings. Values are also tree. Future. Import annotations. Oh, we can't do it like that. We gotta do it with the string. Dixter tree. Wow. Recursive. Make object takes a class and returns an instance of it. Type T. 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 Thanks for doing this. Seems interesting. Yeah, we're 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 zooming through them. Uh, Big Blaster says, "Hey, dude, part of my 2024 journey is to become a Python god." Is this website a handy resource? Uh, I mean, you'll probably learn something. Uh, define a class undergraduate using the predefined class student. Undergraduate has an extra key major of type string. Why is this one easy? That one seems way easier than the rest of the ones in the advanced. <clears throat> Monster says, why are you training an LM? I'm not. What? Uh, and it says, Python Demigod is perhaps more achievable in a year. <laughs> Uh, da, da, da. In string is a function that takes an argument value of arbitrary type returns a boolean. You should make is string able to narrow the type of the argument based on its return value. When it's true, the narrow values type. When it's true, narrow values type to stir. Basically, it should work like is instance value stir. Oh, yeah. Na, 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 na. Type guard stir. Type shed. Annotate class mine container which support item access. Bracket to get set and delete an item. No, we're not gonna use type shed. That's cheating. Uh, although annotating get item is a huge fucking pain in the ass. And move. Hi, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. We can just do protocols, I think. Dun, dun, dun. Get item self. Uh, da, 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 set item. Uh, can't instantiate protocol class my container. Oh, it's an actual class. Uh. Class derives from one of our protocols, but does not implement all of the members. Uh... Oh, then we just don't need the protocol. Expected indented block. Expected zero positional arguments for line seven. Oh. Of course. Yeah, why would you need type shed for this? Uh, 
Why would you need type shed for this? Oh, check their solution. True. Where? Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't do that. I would just do this. <laughs> this is way easier. <laughs> Weird. Baryatic generics. And then we get onto the extreme ones. Uh, define an array type that supports element wise addition of arrays with identical dimensions and types. Uh, do, 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 do. How the fuck is this supposed to work? I see. I forget if it's starty or uh, what should it return? It should return the same one. Alrighty. I think I might also need star here. I don't remember where the stars are supposed to go there. These might not need the stars. Array is not defined. Fucking stupid. Should be the default. Hooray! Uh, Grand Max says, "Who uses this? The the type var tuples? Uh, mostly the like num numpy garbage. Mostly tensor type sort of things." All right, we've done all of, all of the advanced. Now we're on to extreme. Did the build finish? It did. It did indeed. Prediction, choose outcome, yes. Hooray. Good job, believers. Uh, did we all win so the inflation will kill the economy? Uh, what was the stats for this? Oh, five, yes, five, no. DJ Broke is about to get a shit ton of points. Buster Casey, you doubted and lost. I feel like you've, you've gone against the prediction like four times in a row. <laughs> Uh, PyTorch doesn't want to use it yet because MyPy doesn't support it fully. No. Makes sense. Ethan, how's everyone today? We're doing well. We're on to the extreme typing challenges. I got four more to go. No, I'm just excited. I'm having fun. Let me live my life. Rido, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, there's a function in foo whose first parameter can be anything. You want to use foo, but you want to restrict the first argument to be a person. You cannot modify foo, so you decide to write a function transform. To transform foo into the function you want. Uh, what? Function foo. Uh, okay, so it takes in foo. Uh which can take arbitrary arguments, and we're going to add things onto it. Okay. Star, star, P, and R, and this is going to be callable P, R, and it's going to return, really put this at the top of everything. It's going to return callable, oops, callable, uh, concatenate. Wait, there's a way to do this with stars? I was waiting to do this with stars, but I don't remember what it is. Do I need to annotate the rest of that? Probably not. Expected zero positional arguments. Line 19. Two with person. Two, two. Expected zero positional arguments. Mm. Mm, what? Am I using this concatenate incorrectly? Do 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 do. Tripled your babies, nice. Uh, Tiny Small Sixty Nine says one three hundred seven, nice. Personally use typing dynamic chain. Ah, 
We just did the controversial type shed one. I didn't even use type shed. I don't know why he would use type shed. Using type shed there feels wrong. I would yell at that in a code review. <clears throat> so is that value is supposed to turn into person instead of um oh i see what it's supposed to be okay so i i have this slightly wrong uh a hair she thank you for the follow welcome welcome hopefully you're doing well so it's actually that we have um we actually have concat concatenate object p and then this returns pr uh oh except this is concatenate person pr yeah so we're we're transforming object into person i don't know if i have to implement the rest of these down here Version of type value person unknown unknown transform cannot be okay so I have to actually probably put this in here p dot args p dot quarks to r expected one more positional argument on line nineteen. Foo with person is transform foo to. Value mode. Um. But why? Why do you expect one more positional argument? Oh, because this is a named argument. How does that work? Uh, maybe we do this without concatenate and just cheat a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, you might have to make it a protocol. Yeah, because the problem is that this is not a named argument because concatenate only allows named arguments from what I remember. So we have to, we have to protocol then. But maybe we don't have to implement this part down here at all. <laughs> oh, but we have to somehow preserve the... the argument shape. I wonder if I can do this. I don't think this is legal. I don't know if I have to star star those or not. Question of type value person star x p.
I just do Expected one more positional argument on 19. Still, still that same problem there. Curious what it thinks this is. Oh, why did it not copy? Are you fucking kidding me? It doesn't let me copy out of there? Why didn't it give me the reveal? <clears throat> oh, it uses pyrite? God damn it. I think what you had was almost correct. Do I, do I, I, I don't know, we're going to try it with my pie first, and then we'll install pyrite. Ah. <laughs> well, card input from a library not allowed. Type of T is P2 int. What? Oh, int is the return value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, get con trick. Thank you for. The follow, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Type of T is P2 int mode stir. Maybe bool. Uh, weird. And then it's saying that it doesn't accept this call. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> this seems to work fine for me. <laughs> what the hell? Which Python version is 312. Um, so Richard says, I want to study Python. Where do you think I should start from? I don't think you should study Python. I think you should build a project and use Python, and you will learn it and be motivated. You'll spend years and years studying programming language and never learn anything. Uh, Kazakar, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. I mean, the hint for this is the name that we're supposed to use concatenate, but um, I don't think concatenate pre preserves things. And this feels like it should work. I, I'm annoyed that I can't copy out of this box. 
that this this doesn't let me copy. Um I'm gonna try it again with concatenate, even though I was pretty sure we already didn't see that. Maniac, hello, hello, how you doing? Welcome back. Self taught an R for twenty thousand lines of code of one script for my research. That doesn't sound like a good thing. <laughs> Hi Indel, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Um Concatenate objects P R Yeah, because I don't know how you would preserve the signature otherwise. Like, this seems like the obvious solution, but I don't know how you would preserve. Yeah, I don't know how you would satisfy this. Can you concatenate a protocol? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. That doesn't seem legal. <laughs> There's no way this is right either. Hmm. Phoenix says, by the way, congrats on getting featured on that GitHub Readme program. Do they do they do something again? Because it's been a while. But thank you, thank you. Uh, we had some regional festivities. Got a good break from work. Nice. We're working on tipping challenges. Um, do these always return? No, this one returns none. Very weird. Uh, does it check the type here? It doesn't. It just does the call. So I'm going to get rid of the return value and just do it this way. Outdated version! Thank you the resub at 43 months. Holy shit. It's good to see you again. I hope you're doing well, and I appreciate your continued support. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. E one, E, and then P two P. I want to be able to copy this. I don't know why they have broken copy paste. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah, because it seems seems to work for me. Let's uh let's let's try there. Let's try let's try the whole thing first. Let's make sure that we're not losing our minds. Copy using dev tools, yeah. Might be what we have to do. Um uh, 
foo value modester to none. Okay, so person one. No errors there. Okay, so these ones expect a type error. And we do get a type error. So what the fuck? I feel like they're... I feel like they're, their checker is bugged. Uh, oh, not line eight, but line nine. Person and then integer one. Literal one cannot be assigned to mode of type stir. Yeah, my my shit's right. <laughs> Their thing's fucked. <laughs> Ten also. Uh, Exer Care, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, expected two positional arguments. That's all fine and dandy. Uh, let's try this one. Value equals person. Uh, we don't have the full. Signature of the other one, but let's just do this. Oh. Okay, my mine seems to be working. I'm gonna look at their solution and then figure out why their why mine doesn't work, um, and what they did differently. Uh, 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 uh. Can't need any p. T. Where's their return value? Oh, Pyrite infers the return value. They didn't annotate this. Yeah, mine should work. Their shit's buggy. Um, what version of Pyrite are they using? I'm wondering if this is a bug in Pyrite where any versus object is different. Well, the thing is, it's it's working locally for me. They might have an outdated version of Pyrite. I don't even know how to find their pyrite version though. Are they doing? Oh, they're probably using this. Ugh. <laughs> um, I'm on three forty-five, and they're on three thirty-eight. So if I um. <clears throat> Ben Mitch says, do you recommend the keyboard thing of moving to split ones or should I use the advantage? Um, I wrote a review of this uh, here, so you can check that out. Uh, but I also got this for free. So um, do, 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 yeah, what the fuck? It works there too. Um, so I don't exactly know what's going on here. I don't know. Um, Three thirty-eight. Potential little stupid ideas. Does you defining person your answer break things? It was there in the given code. Um, 
Yeah, like it's it's this is in the this is in the given code. So it shouldn't matter. Um <clears throat> but this this solution feels wrong. They're not actually typing this. They're letting the type checker fill it in for them. Um Actually, let's let's copy their entire code here and show that mine works fine. Do 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 do. Um bot bot bot, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. All right, so line 30, expect type error, good. 31, expect type error, good. 32, expect type error, good. 43, expect type error, good. 44, also, and 45 and 46. Okay, yeah, so my solution is fine. Um, the website must be running an outdated version of, of Pyrite. <clears throat> I'm gonna fill the whole thing out because uh because I'd rather be correct. Seven errors, still seven errors, good. Let's fill in the actual decorator part too. That we we aren't cheesing any of it. <laughs> Oops, what did I fuck up here? Oh. <laughs> we got seven errors though. Does their solution work? I don't know. We should check that in a sec. Right, 29. Uh, 29, 30, 31. 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> um, is there a way to do spoilers on uh, on on GitHub? I don't think there is. Oh, I can put it in a little collapsy do. Uh, I'll be old. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Delsp, thank you for the resub at 37 months. It's good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. And I appreciate your continued support. How you doing? How's your Saturday? 
Hearing interruptions, find out why. I don't... No, you're just shitty, YouTube. This is your fault today. You're working on a Saturday. What are you doing? Um. Anyway, shrugs. Uh, Carrie's face says, hey, hey, isn't typing challenge enough? By the way, do you have a video on structural pattern matching? I have one, yes. Um... I don't believe you can structural pattern matching a callable. Uh, oh, Kevin's also here. Holy shit. We got the whole crew today. Kevin, thank you for the restart in 41 months. Hello, hello. I don't know how I just whoosh, missed that. Good evening. How are you doing? Trying to prove QA inefficiencies by doing four months of work in just over two weeks. Hey, there you go. It's been a bit, Kevin. I hope you're doing well. I was thinking about you this morning. I was like, oh, I miss Kevin. I haven't seen him in a while. I hope I hope my I hope my inconsistent streaming hasn't spooked him away. But you're back. Doing in trying to cope out for hosting my son's birthday party. <laughs> Too many small children. Uh okay anyway. Back back to this. We can hopefully finish these up even though uh even though um Uh Oh, there's a whole fucking playground for this. Um but this must be on an outdated version. One that three forty five. That is also weird. That this shows an error on one dot three forty five. I am not seeing that locally. Huh, anyway. I wonder if it's something like this that's happening where, um, Oh. Yeah, that that is what's happening. Um We can fix their little sample code. Uh is it extreme? <clears throat> yeah, if we put twos here, that'll work. Um, are you getting snowed in? There's a lot of snow here. It's true. Mr. Singh, hello, hello. My vacation is tuning in stream after kids went to bed. Ah, nice. Um... Found out what's happening in the all right playgrounds. The uh, is inferencing the reassignments of um, what was it called? Foo with person. Uh, Cool. Thanks, Wall69. Thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. 
One of my former co-workers got stuck in Detroit overnight. Then his flight to Kansas City was canceled this morning, so he flew to Omaha instead as driving back to Kansas City. Oh my god. What a mess. Oh, did I say hi to Mr. Singh? If not, hello, hello. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. All right, on to the next one. Because um, we had figured it out, but for some reason, it's, it's the puzzle that's buggy, not me. Hey, new hype train emoji emote, emotes. Hooray. Uh, it's been a while. I've been so busy with life that I haven't had a chance to catch a stream. I want to urge you to grab a beer, but my New Year's resolution was to stay sober just to try it out. Ah! And you've lasted... You've lasted two weeks? Congrats! Alright. Define a decorator construction parameter that accepts the type of foo or turn of wrapper function with the same signature as the constructor of foo. Uh, and if... Function decorated by construction parameter that must be called an instance of foo. So we're taking a type. Uh, which is really just a callable. Find decorator constructor parameter that accepts the type of foo and return a wrapper function with the same signature as the constructor and function decorated by a constructed parameter. To return a list of them? Oh, it... The function it takes in a foo and list turns or returns a list of foo. This one just feels complicated for no good reason. I've glanced at my stats twice today. <laughs> you know, since I lasted four hours in 2024. Hey, there you go. Uh, I want another on Wednesday. Hey, there you go. After the birthday party, my whole system craved a cold one. <laughs> yeah. Raul YT, YT Pro says, thanks for your videos. I joined the company last uh, July last year, and your short vids on Pytest helped a lot. Nice. Uh, they were helpful okay let's just look at what they have over here and this this seems to be more make more sense so you pass in the con these values and you get back a list <laughs> so we're clearly taking in a type to begin with. So we have to have some sort of T. Uh something. We'll just say object for now. And then it's going to return a decorator. Uh going to return the decorator, which is a callable from uh, who? Oh, no, it's a. It takes in a callable. Uh, it is a callable that accepts a callable with foo as the first parameter, and list foo as the return value. And it returns back a callable, which has a param spec, and returns list foo. And so we need to take that same param spec here. Uh, T is... <laughs> it doesn't test us with anything but foo, so we'll just... It'll always be foo. I don't think you can have bounds of a param spec. Here's what this does. I don't think this is right because uh, we don't actually use the param spec. Who is not defined? Oh. Do, 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 do. 
I think it would actually be impossible to implement this function given the type system, but back to 14. Corrected parameter type list or dot dot dot. Oh, this is our parameter, right? Corrected zero positional arguments on line 14. Ah, uh, they don't have any imports, so we need to give them their imports. What's up? Sure, I'll have some rice fried rice that might be too salty. Line 14, expected zero positional arguments. This one here. So type T is really just callable e to t hooray <laughs> uh i do know that 17 carat but too fucking bad there's all sorts of words that are different words in different languages but not in mine um <clears throat> Of course, there's always this one kid who doesn't listen to shots all the time and has no manners. <laughs> yeah. What's the challenge about it? Just a bunch of Python typing things. Hola, hola. We dem boys. So I'm deciding between a Kinesis split like the one you have or an HHKB. Which would you recommend? I don't know the second one. And you can read my review in or, or watch my review in the YouTube link that uh, DDLSP has just linked for you. All right, self-casting. Then is a class decorator which takes a callable f. Fn as a transform callable method which will transform f into a different callable with an additional any parameter at the beginning while preserving the remaining parts of function series. No. Ah, you're telling me a rice fried this rice? Yep. Here's the... My camera... Yum! Rice fried this rice! Thank, thank you, Tina. Takes in a gobble. Transforms F into a different gobble. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Which takes an additional argument at the beginning. That's pretty easy. Transform callable just returns a new callable. I don't know why it's just called self casting. See what this gives us. Oh, this is correct. <clears throat> did you bring enough to share with chat? Did, did you make enough for chat, Tina? You're making up for 126 people? <laughs> One grain of rice. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this one was very easy. I don't know why it's called self-casting. I'm kind of curious what, what fuckery their solution does. Um, yeah, I don't know why they did this. They... They made this way more complicated than it needs to be.
this is this is a way simpler solution. I remember correctly, I have to put an enter here, otherwise it fucks it up. He said as he forks entire, forks of over 100 grains of rice into his rice hole. Oh, that's a spoon, joke's on you. It's not a cast. Oh, I clicked the button. <clears throat> That's one cube, below low. Forks entire spoons? Yeah. <laughs> low poly fan, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. All right, we're on to the last one, variants. <laughs> this one just says make the test pass. Nice. So F takes in not a list, not a list of ints. but a list of ints or stirs. And G takes in a list of int or a list of inter stir or a stir. So oh, I forgot the fucking. That one didn't seem that hard. Anyway. That was kind of fun. It should be easy, yeah. This one was very easy. I was just trying to figure out what that little test case was said. And yes, it is a question of variance. I was kind of hoping to learn something from this, but and it says wait. <laughs> did I make this too? Did I do this too easy? How does line thirteen pass? Because this is a sequence of stir. A string is a sequence of stir, and so it fits into this. Because you can say, <laughs> oh, fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Strings being sequences of strings is is a weird one. <laughs> if you do the typing challenge, you get four grains of rice. This is the biggest typing blender. I mean, this is just how Python is. The fact that iterating a string gives you a string is kind of nutty. Um, but neat. That is honestly all that I plan to do today. Um, so this might be a short, short stream. In my inbox. So I don't have anything to work on. Well, I mean, I have an infinite list of things to do to work on, but this feels like a a good stopping point. It'll be a nice, nice video too. Um, <clears throat> but that was fun. We did all of all of all of all of them. So that's cool. Pick a random challenge now. Yeah, we already did them all. Uh, let's learn French. <laughs> <laughs> we we <laughs> an infinite list of things to do, all of which will wait until later. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was fun. Um, what do? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna wrap up here then. Uh, he came, fixed snakes and types, types types, and then left. Yeah, that's true. My name is Anthony. I upload educational content. Oh, I'm gonna. We're gonna give a tease. We're gonna tease for today, this week's video. We're giving a tease. I'm edging chat. We're 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 edging chat. All right. This this week's video. We're gonna explain how the fuck I went from three tebabytes of RAM to two tebabytes of RAM. An entire terabyte of RAM in one line of code. That's that's going to be Wednesday's video. So make sure you subscribe on the YouTube so that you can catch the video and ding the bell. No. Um, but anyway, that's that's this week's video. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, uh, I'll, I'll give you a hint with the second graph. Look at this graph! Um... This this is basically the drop from from one line of code. Um, edge any edgers in chat? Educational content? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, it's 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 a good one. It's a good line of code. <laughs> Look at this graph. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I upload educational content to my YouTube YouTube channel, youtubecom slash code. If you missed any part of the stream, you can catch up on the VODs channel, which is at code dash vods. Uh, they don't go up on Twitch due to DMCA shenanigans, and I forgot to upload last week's video, so I'll remember to do that. Ooh, preview is the spinner. Uh, normally stream Monday evenings and Saturday at noon, and thank you, Matt, 9E19, for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Um, I announced my streams on the Discord. Oh, details, I already posted the link. Perfect. Uh, but that's going to wrap us up for today. Let's go find someone to raid. <laughs>